Welcome to SketchUp. As you can see, there's a little slacker dude, and that indicates the user origin. And then you have three lines, and these are the different axes. Um, in trigonometry, you would have the X, Y, and Z axes, but uh, in SketchUp, it's much more simple. We, this is just called the red axis, the green axis, and the blue axis. Now, if I were to draw a line, Notice it's green. That means that this line is exactly parallel to the green axis. Exactly parallel to the blue axis, and then to the red. And as you can see, it doesn't look exactly parallel. That's because SketchUp is in perspective. So eventually, parallel lines will meet. Okay. So let's just draw a simple house. I'm just going to click on this shape here, which is rectangle. And if ever you're not sure of any tool, just hover the mouse over it and the little uh, pop-up window will tell you what it is. I'm going to start at the user origin and I'm just going to draw diagonally in this direction. <clears throat> at the bottom, as you can see, there's something called dimensions down here. I can just type in a number, 24. Now if I leave it at 24, it'll do 24 inches. So I need to use the quote symbol, single quote for foot, 24 feet, and that's in the red axis direction. And now in the green axis, I'm gonna type in comma, type in another 24 single quote for feet, and hit enter. And that's what we have. So this other tool over here, called the push-pull tool, you can grab any surface and make it into three dimensions. So what we've just done using the rectangle tool is we've made four edges. And four edges that are complete and continuous make a surface. And when I hold the push-pull tool over a surface, it changes in texture. I'm going to left click once, drag up, and again, let's type in the height. Let's just type in 10 single quote for feet, hit enter, or return on a Mac, and you have a basic semblance of a house. And if I go up to this top arrow looking symbol, it's called orbit. And now I can orbit around to see it, all the different sides. So how I'm orbiting <clears throat> is I'm left clicking and holding and then moving the mouse. Left click, hold, move up. Left click, hold, move down. Now let's build a pitched roof. I'm gonna click on the line tool. Now I know, now I wanna, <coughs> create a slope at the center of this line. So when I move the line tool over, um, it's contacting the edge and a red square appears. Now if I drag it to the middle, a cyan or light blue dot appears. That means I'm going to draw exactly in the midpoint. I'm going to left click once and then drag upwards. Now if I wait till that line is blue, I know that that line is exactly parallel to the blue axis. And I'm just going to type in four, quote for foot, hit enter, and there's my line. And the green dot is for the end point of the line. And I'm going to draw a line over here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude this triangle shape over here. But first, I have to select this line and then hit delete because I want to drag the entire triangle together at the same time instead of just half. Click on the push pull tool, click once, drag in this direction, and then wait for the endpoint, green dot. That's our house. In the next video, we'll add windows and doors.